You may be wondering, do I need a new router? Think of a traditional router as a traffic circle that flows around to different devices located in different areas in your house. Everything has to come back to the circle before it can go somewhere else. A mesh router is more like a standard road grid. Each four-way stop is a mesh router node that sends data to any other node within range. So unlike Wi-Fi extenders, mesh routers create overlapping network coverage that is more reliable and provides more routes for data to travel along. If you are looking to make your Wi-Fi faster, a mesh network may help you with that as well. A mesh Wi-Fi router or a mesh system joins two or more Wi-Fi access points together to create and share a single seamless Wi-Fi network that can be expanded to cover even the largest home or buildings. If the Wi-Fi router you use in your small apartment doesn't give you the wireless connectivity you want in a larger house, then a mesh Wi-Fi router system could be the perfect solution. If you have a large home at least 3,000 or 2,000 square feet or one with an unusual layout that rises more than two stories or has brick walls in its interior, then you'll likely encounter Wi-Fi dead zones. This means your home could be a good candidate for a mesh system instead of a traditional Wi-Fi router. A mesh router improves areas of low or no connectivity, is a great choice for larger homes and apartments, or anywhere with thicker walls, an odd layout or an inherently low Wi-Fi signals. Setting up a modern mesh system is Wi-Fi and you'll have a quick dependable internet connection as long as you need it. No more drops, no more holding when you hold out streets doesn't have automatically because you fell offline. If several people use the internet at the same time, this speech will be able to handle that without any issues. You can still stream 4K or 8K videos, play online games, and work efficiently. However, even with the 2.5GB port, we think the performance is still limited. Unlike Asus with two multi-gig ports, the nodes connected to each other via internet would still perform at 1GB speed, not 2.5GB. Talking about the range, each satellite covers 2,000 square feet, which is very impressive, but the wireless range would usually vary depending on your house structure. If your home has thick walls or it has a plenty of obstructions, the range and speed would be different should you buy it. Yes, if you only want solid and basic performance, Amazon's Eero Pro 6e is the kind of router that you couldn't mess up if you are tried. It's a decent standalone for a medium sized space, but it really shines when paired with another expensive Eero Pro 6e to give you one big speedy smart mesh network. Nevertheless, the Eero Pro 6e still provides an incredible range. At 20 feet away from the router, it was able to give 1200 to 1400 Mbps speeds. Then at 100 feet, it gives 1100 to 200 Mbps. There is something to be said for having a simple clean app that a person can access at any point to make changes to a home network configuration or check it if it's working or not. The Edo app is still is an ideal but it's still better for most of the people than some range of garbage web or app based user interfaces you'll find on most standalone routers. Amazon's Eero shines even through its hardware and software shortcomings. Overall, Eero Pro 6e is a competitive Wi Fi 6e mesh router, however, we can deny that other mesh router systems like ASUS and Netgear are way faster. But given its price, you are still getting a very good deal. So, Edo 6E is a good mesh network. It's worth the upgrade if you want to improve your internet connection at home. Although some things could have been better, it still rocks and does its jobs very well. However, we can't recommend it for a large homes or homes with high user demand. But if you have a home 
within range of 2000 square feet, we highly recommend this to you. That's all for my tutorials video. Thanks for watching.